reality. This is a difficult word to define because there really isn't any such thing. What we mean by that is that there is no simple reality here or anywhere else. There are as many different realities in this planet as there are people alive to create them all. And what passes for global reality is merely a group consensus in a few minor points. From there on out, it's a very man and woman for him or herself. The reality that you live is nothing more than an audiovisual demonstration of where your attention is. The universe presumes your attention is on what you want and graciously provides you with more of the same. If this dynamic were understood, you would never do anything so foolish as to declare a war on drugs, unless, of course, your objective were to create more of them. There is no better way to increase drug traffic than to have everyone's attention focused on it. The same principle applies to increasing everything you think you oppose, and it is also the reason the war cannot be won. If you were serious about stopping drugs, the best course would be to stop being fascinated with them via your perceived opposition. Become fascinated with freedom instead, and your addictions will disappear naturally to satisfy your new preoccupation. Because you have yet to understand your power of creation and who you really are, you perpetually put your attention on denial instead of affirmation. This results in the universe serving up an extra helping of what you thought you didn't want. Although a number of you practice the art of affirmation as a tool for changing your realities, you can affirm until you are blue in the face, and they may fail. Unless your attention and your identity have also been altered to accommodate what you affirm, the universe has no option but to fulfill your real, though hidden, attention's desires. Until you understand the role that your attention and sense of identity play in your creation, your affirmation track record will remain a perplexing hit and miss affair. It is time to use your powers wisely and create realities that are worthy of who you are. You can do this by changing what you communicate to be real to the universe through your focus and the identity you project by way of that identity's behavior. If you do not make this fundamental shift, you will continue to transmit the same old tired requests to a universe that will dispassionately and lovingly respond with the same old tired and often toxic answers. Spirit. This is the most important word in this manual. Spirit is the driving force behind this mission as well as its designer. It is the reason our great forces are now assembled here. It is also the reason you, our mission members, willingly chose to incarnate on the seemingly hostile and backward planet. We all came at Spirit's call. Everything and everyone in a very universe rightfully belongs to Spirit. Spirit is the power that breathes life into all created form. Spirit is life's true identity, as well as its long-awaited beloved. Spirit is the source, it is love, it is all. And although Spirit has always resided here, it has now chosen to lift the veils that have kept its presence on this plane from being fully known. It is out of love of Spirit that the vast forces of light are now infiltrating a very earthly system. We were summoned here to participate in the transfiguration of this planet into the glorified home of spirit it is destined to be. We could go on redefining your language forever because at the moment there is very little agreement between us except on words like dog and cat and even there the agreement is minor. Since philology is not the primary intent of this manual or this mission, we will leave the matter of meaning at this point, knowing that your language is about to change organically, as the natural consequences of imminent change in your consciousness. 2. Transmutational Procedure Rules for Dysfunctional Patterns Step I. In Rome, do as the Romans. Upon arrival on the Earth plane, your instructions were to completely fall asleep, just like the local population. You were to totally forget your true identity and everything you knew. Since most of you entered as babies, this was not difficult. The very institution in the culture supported this memory loss, and it became easier as the years went on. And the inadvertent slips on your part most likely occurred during childhood and were easily dismissed as the result of an overactive imagination. Since imagination threatens the dysfunctionality of this world, 
it was probably turned out of view as soon as possible by the adult inhabitants of the planet. What your parents were unable to suppress, the school systems most likely made short work of, as this is their specialty. In this manner, the local planetary inhabitants unwittingly assisted in maintaining the secrecy of your presence and the security of the mission. Step high, high. In Rome, do as the Arcturians. Ground rules. Step high, high of the transmutational process cannot begin until the successful completion of Step High. In short, you must be able to pass for a local, and you are not allowed to just fake it. Total dysfunctionality must be achieved before Step High, high can commence. When extraterrestrial incarnates on mission to planet Earth finally arrive at the point where they are no longer able to demand water, they can drink, food they can eat, or air, they can breathe without killing themselves, they are to understand that step high of the mission has been successfully completed. The incarnates have truly become earthlings, and step high I may now begin. Coming out of the closet, you may dimly recall the saying, in Rome, do as the Arcturians. If not, don't strain your memory. Even if you do remember, the humor of it may not be immediately evident. That catchy little intergalactic saying was coined to capture the essence of Step I of the transmutational procedure. That procedure entails waking up to your true identity and forgetting everything you learned up until this point so that you can remember what you actually knew before you got here. In other words, you are to jump the entire identity you just spent a lifetime laboriously creating. Now do you see why we say the humor may escape you? All roads lead away from Rome. Yes, you understood the preceding entry correctly. You are to disengage yourself from your old identity and dissociate from a declining Rome. After falling asleep profoundly, you are now expected to wake up equally profoundly. Now is the time to dismantle all false identity. Now is the time to forget that which has been learned in deference to that which is deeply known. Now begins the awesome process of altering human history. Now is the time for everything, and now is here. Refer to time slash space anomalies and their physical functions in this section for further clarification on now. Also see passing for white and closet cases and troubleshooting for some precautionary instructions about this emerging consciousness. Gentle reminder, some of you are probably wondering why such a tortuous route was chosen to get to the desired destination. The reason you are wondering this is because you have been on this planet too long and have absorbed some, if not all, of its dysfunctional thinking. Keep in mind that this planet is no model for rational thought and that what passes for sanity here is sending chills down the spine of the remainder of the universe. The need to absorb the dysfunctionality of the planet is in order to legitimately disarm its patterns. Any other method would constitute an invasion, and we do not invade. We alter by earning the right to do so. No entity is permitted to enter an alien world and disarm its dysfunctional patterns without having lived them. That is in compliance with universal law, which we represent. Although we have had transmissions from many of you, Screaming invade already. Just get me out of here. We regretfully remind you that that is not what you signed up for. Getting out of here is not the point. Getting more light into here is. Remember. Some interesting facts. About transmutation. Pre-encoded activation. The seated entities that comprise this mission were pre-encoded to awaken at this time. That means that their DNA structures were genetically designed to go off, like time bombs, at a designated moment in order to accommodate more light that the current human model was prepared to entertain. The time for genetic detonation is now. Time slash space anomalies and their physical functions. A the dimensional shift. Time slash space anomalies are being experienced in your planet at this moment. Most people have a nagging sense that there isn't as much time as there used to be. This is usually expressed as my, isn't time flying. The reason for the sensation of less time is because there is less time. In order for a dimensional shift to occur, time is collapsing to create a new dimensional space. 
conversely spaces collapse into create a new dimensional time. In other words, the time-slash-space relationship that determines your third dimensional reality is up for grabs. Now is an actual event. It does not refer simply to living in the present, although that is strongly recommended. A time warp is truly a current and will continue to accelerate until now is fully reached and the dimensions can finally interface, much like a ship docking in a spaceport at a predetermined moment. Now there is more now than there was even a few months ago, and even more now is on the way. When Mission Control or any of its Alliance members state the time, as now we are reminding you of your genetic agreement, as well as being literal. Be the genetic shift. Another interesting aspect of this anomaly is that your DNA codes were set to go off now, before you left. As you may have noticed, that did not occur at your birth, or at any other time, until now. Even though you have lived through many nows, you have not yet lived through this one. The genetic shift is triggered by now to accommodate more now, and the degree of your awakening is in direct relation to the degree of now that you are experiencing because now determines that awakening. Note, in an emergency situation, now can be brought about instantaneously, and all DNA codes activated simultaneously. This is a bit like calling up the reserves, and we would rather not use this method if possible. A more organic approach is preferred. Please see emergency procedure and troubleshooting for more information.